Electromagnetic field therapy has been used to heal people from illness and disease since electricity was first invented. However, people have been aware of the powers of magnetic therapy for thousands of years. It was practiced in China as early as 2000 BC, as it is recorded in the ancient Chinese medical text, the Yellow Emperor's Book of Internal Medicine. In the book, it talks about magnetic stones being used to correct health imbalances and to heal people from illnesses. Later, in around 200 BC in ancient Greece, the famous Greek physician Galen spoke of the cleansing powers of magnetism. Indeed, the word magnet comes from the ancient Greek word magnus lithos, which literally means stone from magnesia. Magnesia being a part of Greece commonly known for having magnetic rocks. The healing powers of magnetism were later used to treat illness and disease in the Middle Ages as magnetic stones called guiding stones were placed on people's bodies. In modern times, the invention of electricity meant practitioners were able to improve upon magnets and harness electricity to heal people from illness and disease. In the 19th century, more and more scientists began to make the science of magnetic fields and electromagnetism a focus of attention. Michael Faraday, one of the most distinguished English scientists at that time, contributed a great deal to the study of electromagnetism, including the discovery of electromagnetic induction, diamagnetism and electrolysis. Faraday created the first electromagnetic rotary device, which is the foundation of electric motors. Based on his work in electromagnetism, Faraday proposed for the first time that a changing magnetic field can produce an electric field. This was called Faraday's Law and was one of the four Maxwell equations. Faraday's studies were vital to the development of pulsed EMF therapy. In the late 19th and 20th centuries, Serbian-American inventor Nikola Tesla discovered the rotating magnetic field. Tesla had an intimate understanding of the relationship between electricity and magnetic fields. A less known electrical coil, which was also invented by Tesla, is the standard magnetic loop coil seen in all pulsed EMF systems today. In the 20th century, the Czech Republic was committed to the development of sophisticated static magnetic therapies, including checkerboard design magnetic foils. It was also the starting point of pulsed EMF devices. In the early 1980s, pulsed EMF devices were introduced in Hungary. Soon thereafter, pulsed EMF therapy spread to other parts of Europe. Nearly all European countries designed and manufactured their own pulse DMF systems. Although it was widely adopted in East and Western Europe, its use was restricted to animals in North America until recently. Veterinarians were the first health professionals to use pulse DMF therapy. A common use was to heal broken legs in racehorses. In 1979, the FDA approved pulsed EMF therapy for the healing of non-union fractures. In 1986, the seminal point Body Electric, Electromagnetism and the Foundation of Life was published by Dr. Robert Becker and Gary Seldon. It was one of the first documents which regarded the human body as an electromagnetic apparatus and therefore very important to the researchers of electromagnetic field therapies. In 1998, the FDA approved pulsed EMF therapy for urinary incontinence and muscle stimulation. In 2003, NASA's scientist Thomas Goodwin published an experimental study about the effect of electromagnetic fields on neuronal cells. NASA conducted the study to find out if we can take advantage of pulsed EMF electromagnetic fields to stimulate the regrowth of neural tissue and improve electrical conductivity between neuronal cells. They discovered that electromagnetic field stimulation improves regrowth by an astonishing 250 to 400%. Since then, 
NASA space programs equipped their space capsules and space suits with pulsating magnetic field generators. Obviously, Pulsed EMF can benefit not only astronauts, but also all of us. In 2004, the FDA approved Pulsed EMF therapy for cervical fusion patients who are at high risk of non-fusion. In 2006, the FDA approved Pulsed EMF therapy for the treatment of depression and anxiety. In 2011, the FDA approved Pulsed EMF therapy for the treatment of brain cancer. The medical community is becoming increasingly aware of the healing powers of pulsed EMF therapy. On October 13, 2015, the FDA acknowledged the safety and effectiveness of pulsed EMF therapy by reclassifying pulsed EMF devices from Class 3 category to Class 2. It means that pulsed EMF devices are now considered safe for private individual use.